Gary Anderson here at Madison Square Garden, and that was something a little different. We'll talk about the game first of all. How did it feel playing in this iconic venue? Oh, great. You know, walking out, I, I didn't know where to go. You know, am I going right, am I going left? But uh, no, the crowd's in for it, aren't they? They're, they're really up for it, which is good. You know, it's, it's great for this game, the game and the sport, you know, to, to get a crowd to get into it helps us a, a million percent. Compared to Vegas, so much more louder and noisier, aren't they? Oh, but Vegas has got casinos. <laughs> my downfall. But uh, no, it's, it's, it's been, I mean, Madison, like we say, Madison Square Gardens. You know, when you mention it, I think of boxers. You know, I've said it before, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. That's, that's the only two I'm going to mention, even though there's been thousands of boxers there. But that's the names. Preparation for tonight's match didn't go according to plan. You, you lose your darts, start with a set of Peter Wrights, finish with a set of Johnny Clayton's. What was going through your mind in the build-up to the game, not having your own set, first of all? Can you believe it? The room's upside down. If you go in there, you think I've been robbed. But, uh, you know, uh, I always know Peter's got a, a spare set, you know. Uh, borrowed him. But in the practice board, Peter's darts were going better than Johnny's. They were flying better than that, you know. After a few legs, you know, I took the 105 out with the two double tops, which was a bit of a fluke. But, uh, you know, but uh, now I switched to Johnny's and they just kind of flew better through there. That's um, good of the players because in other sports they wouldn't lend competitors equipment, would they? And what what was it like? Were you going around everyone asking, "Can I borrow a set?" <laughs> it's not often I get my hands and knees and beg, but it's not a good lads. You know, we, we do. We, I seen it in snooker years ago, giving uh, the boy a shot his cue, and then there was one occasion he went, "No, you're not touching my cue." I can always remember that many many years ago. But a good bunch of lads, you know, they'll they'll help us out. So if you play Johnny or Peter later on, are they going to ask for him back? <laughs> I think Johnny said 25%. Pete was <laughs> about 26, I think, but uh, no, no, just thanks very much for lending me the darts. Are you guys sticking with them for the rest of the tournament? I'll still have two sets. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go and see how they go. So I might turn into Peter Wright with all these different sets of darts. Tomorrow, it's Michael Smith. You two always serve up a classic, and to do it here in the garden will be something special as well. Yeah, it will be. You know, hopefully it's a good game. Uh, I don't know who's to use. Does Peter beat him a lot or does Johnny? I don't, I don't know. But uh, now, nah, listen, we'll just see what happens tomorrow night. You know, got to give it all and see what happens. Gary, congratulations and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Phil.